Hey there, welcome back to Geeky Greenhouse. In today's video, I'll discuss the difference between heirloom and hybrid plant varieties. So to start off with a very basic overview, heirloom plant varieties are essentially very long-standing, stabilized varieties over many generations of growing. They're also traditionally steeped in history and tend to have come from a very specific place in the world. For example, there are many heirloom tomato varieties native to Italy, and there are tons of heirloom pepper varieties native to South America and some from Mexico. And on the other side, you have hybrid plants, which are essentially crossbred versions of heirloom plants that result result in a new plant variety. There is one other type of plant that I just want to cover quickly, and that is landrace varieties. Those are essentially wild plant varieties that have never had any human intervention, but have been discovered by humans in their natural place in the world. One great example I always like to reference is the pimenta denied. It is the black foliage pepper variety with black leaves, stems, and peppers themselves, and that has been used to create many hybrid varieties through crossbreeding. So now moving on to the topic of crossbreeding and plant modification, this has been going on for hundreds of years, essentially as soon as humans got into agriculture and growing their own food, plant modification became a goal. It started out as basically selection, so you would select the crops that had the best characteristics, they were the largest, or they produced the most food for you. Early growers would essentially just save those seeds and grow them in the next generation, and over time, natural cross-pollination would occur, and those desirable characteristics would be passed on through natural cross-pollination, and the genetic traits would carry forward. Farmers and large-scale growers eventually would get to a point where they were happy with the product, they would give it a name, and now we have lots of heirloom varieties that date back 50, 100 plus years. So that's the difference between an heirloom variety and a landrace variety. Heirloom varieties are not completely natural. They have had some human intervention, but they have lasted generations and are still around today as stable, reliable varieties of plants. Now there are many different definitions out there on what really defines a proper heirloom plant variety. Some only consider plants to be heirloom if they have been around for 50 or 100 plus years. But to me it just means that the characteristics of the plant will be stable and reliable. And if you save the seeds from those plants and grow them the next generation, they will be consistent. Another defining characteristic of an heirloom plant is that they are open pollinated, which means that they're grown in a field or something like that where they get naturally pollinated by bees and whatnot. And the only selection really came at the end of the season when harvest time came around and the most desirable fruits were chosen to save seeds. So cut to today with modern hybridization and crossbreeding techniques, we have new plant varieties coming out every two hours probably. I don't know the true frequency, but it is very easy for you, even at home, to crossbreed your plants. Now, different species may pose more challenges, but take peppers, for example, they are very easy to cross-pollinate and create your own hybrid. We have a very clear understanding of how different plant varieties within the same species can essentially interbreed and create a new plant variety, and that's essentially what creates better performing plants in new environments. Now this will happen naturally through pollinators bringing pollen from one species variety to another variety and creating a natural cross, but today it's done intentionally with the goal of improving the plant in one way or another. Now some important things to know if you're planning to buy hybrid seeds. The first thing is if you save seeds from a fruit of a hybrid plant and plant those seeds in another generation, that plant is going to be very inconsistent, potentially very different from the plant where the seeds came from. And the reason is this, when you take two plants that are very stable, say heirloom varieties, and you cross them, the resulting plant will be very consistent. That first batch of seeds will create very consistent plants. They will be different from the initial two plants, but they will be very consistent in their traits. However, once you move forward from that generation, that is where genetic variation goes crazy. From there, you may notice differences in plant size, in fruit color, in fruit taste, in spiciness and peppers, so many different traits are dictated by genes. And in order to get back to a stable plant variety, you really need to go through eight to 10 plus generations of plants, and you need to isolate those plants from any other potential cross-pollination. So it gets pretty complicated, but the important thing to remember is if you're buying hybrid seeds and you're saving the seeds from your plants, if you grow those the next generation, don't expect it to be anything like the original plant. Now this is a good and a bad thing because hybrid seeds can be great if you're trying to avoid disease. Say you're a farmer and you can't risk getting disease on your crop. 
You can buy hybrids that have been specifically bred to be resistant to diseases. However, if you're just a casual gardener like we are, you don't really have the option to save those seeds unless you don't mind rolling the dice of genetics. Now there is a middle ground between a hybrid and an heirloom, and that would be a stabilized hybrid. There are plenty of hybrids that were created in the last decade or so that are now considered very stable varieties, but they can't quite be called heirloom because they don't really have that long lineage. Now I know all of this can get very confusing, so I'd like to show you three examples of these types of plants. First, I'll show you an heirloom plant. I'll show you a hybrid that we created unintentionally over the winter. And then I'll show you what I'm calling a stable hybrid plant variety. Okay, so first up is the Golden Marconi. This is an Italian heirloom pepper variety that has very predictable, consistent results from your plants. You get these long slender pods that start green and ripen to yellow. We don't have any ripe yet, but this is one of the only heirloom varieties we're actually growing this year. We like to keep it interesting and grow more hybrids and experimental pepper varieties, but this is an heirloom. It's got great flavor. It's supposed to be very sweet. And apparently some people consider it to be better than bell peppers, but we'll be the judge of that once we get a ripe pepper. Now, next up is our hybrid variety that we accidentally created. We were growing two Chenin species pepper plants indoors over the winter, one of which was the famous Kang Star Lemon Starburst, and the other was the Landrace variety, the CGN 21500, which is one of our favorites. It's actually our bonsai plant. And I say unintentional, but it was slightly intentional because I did sort of rub the two flowers together, just sort of hoping that perhaps we would get a cross. And lo and behold, we actually did. And the reason I'm certain of this is that the peppers are not the same color as either of the two initial peppers. They're this beautiful orange creamsicle color when they're ripe. And that falls right in between the Kangstar Lemon Starburst, which is yellow, and the CGN 21500, which is sort of a pinkish color. And would you look at that, we get an orange color. So this would be considered sort of a first generation crossbreed. But when I save the seeds from these peppers and grow them out, I expect to see a lot more variation. And for from there, I could select one of those plants and try to stabilize the traits. Now, last but not least is the stable hybrid variety, and this is the Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion. And I hope your plants don't look like this. This one really got neglected and never got transplanted, but we had a much more productive plant last year that was in the ground. It did great, and it was very consistent. And we actually saved the seeds from those peppers to grow this plant. And look at that, that's a peachy looking pepper that has some sun scald on it, but it's very consistent. Even on this tiny plant, you still get a very consistent plant and peppers. But that's just one example of a stable hybrid. Another much more common would be the Carolina Reaper. That is a stabilized hybrid variety. That plant resulted from cross-pollinating two different pepper varieties to get a brand new pepper and over generations of plant growth, it's been stabilized to become the consistent Carolina Reaper. So I hope this video helped you understand the differences between hybrids and heirloom plant varieties. Let me know what your favorite plants are to grow in the comments below. We're planning a new garden for our season next year and we'd love to get some input from you, ideas on what we should grow some great hybrid or heirloom varieties that you enjoy growing and that you enjoy eating from your garden. Thanks for watching Geeky Greenhouse and I'll see you next time.